My name is George Roop. I'm 30 years old. I'm fighting out of Apex Mixed Martial Arts in Tucson, Arizona, and I'm very proud to be representing Tucson as my fight city, born and raised. I have a lot of support here in Tucson. I have a lot of a lot of guys backing me up. You know, um, a lot of you know, I can go anywhere here and train in Tucson, and you know, Apex is the place for me. Um, I have a lot of great training partners. You know, my double dragon Ed West. You know, me and him are always in here mixing it up, and um, you guys look for him on um, the next bell tour season six you know um he's gonna win that belt you know third time's a charm he's gonna take it to these guys um so i mean i love i love being here from tucson i love fighting at apex you know it's a great family atmosphere and you know we 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 just get the job done we build champions here it's proven time and time again you got all these guys in the big show you got eddie Aris mendy in the m1 show you have ed west in bellator you have chad griggs in the ufc you have george roop in the ufc and you're going to see a lot more great fighters coming out of apex mixed martial arts and tucson is a city all in general we have a lot of talent here and we're going to show it the tough experience was, uh, you know, it was a great experience for me. It really catapulted my my skill level to another, you know, to a whole other dimension. I was very green coming into the, you know, coming into the Ultimate Fighter show, and I've just improved by leaps and bounds, and it really showed me what it takes to be, you know, a UFC fighter and just a, you know, a professional mixed martial artist in general. I definitely grown a lot more since I left. Um, there was a lot. It, it was hard to really grow inside the house, just because all of the antics. You know, there it was definitely like the Juni show. Um, you know, when I was inside the house. So I definitely feel like I've definitely grown more outside of the house. But just competing at that level and you know sh knowing what the UFC wants and the caliber of fighter that the UFC wants, I really feel that that's helped me you know prepare and train for these fights and just make me really grow as a fighter. And um, you know I'm here in Tucson doing my thing and I have a great camp behind me. It's really helped me succeed and be successful. Uh, you know that's a hard that's a that's a hard question really. Um, you know, do I feel like I won the fight? Yeah, I feel like I won the fight because at the end of the night, I did more damage than he did. And he was just scared, pretty much. You know, he wanted out of there at the end of the night. Now, did I win the fight based on the scorecards? You know, hard to say. I would have called it maybe a draw. Um, you know, maybe even I felt like I won a little bit. Um, I just left the, the first round. You know, it wasn't decisive enough. And that's what I'm going to have to do in my... In my next fight, I'm just going to have to make sure I win every single round decisively. My last fight, he won the second round, definitely, I believe. I definitely won the third round, and I think it just came, um, you know, to what the judges saw in the first round. So, you know, I'm not complaining about the decision um, of me losing that fight. It's just, you know, it was just I need to be more decisive when I take these rounds and um, really, t you know, take it to my opponents. It feels great to be fighting on the Fox card. I'm very excited about it. Um, you know, right when I got word of it, you know, this is something that I definitely wanted to do because we're, I'm going to have 10 to 15 million people watching me. Um, I can't wait to reach out and, um, to the Fox audience and show them what, you know, who George Roop is as a fighter and, you know, what I bring to the table. They're going to want to see George Roop fight again after this one. Um, well, Cub Swanson's a very tough opponent, actually. Uh, he's very well-rounded. He's very good on the ground at jiu-jitsu. He's a very good stand-up fighter as well. He's very aggressive. Um, you know, I really don't have a lot of bad things to say about him, you know, as a person or a fighter. Um, he's very, he's very, very good in my opinion. Um, his last fight he lost, um, but he was winning the fight, but he just ended up getting caught, you know. I thought he was a better fighter than Ricardo Lamas in that one. Um, and the way I see this fight ending is the way I see every single fight ending, me winning a unanimous decision. Um, you know, a lot of fighters go in there and say, I'm gonna knock, I see me knocking my guy out in the first round. I see me submitting my guy in the first round. I don't bring that approach to my fight game. I, I'm, you know, because during training, I prepare for a three-round grueling war, and that's what I'll be ready for. Don't, uh, now, I do, yes, I do go in there and I do look for the finish, but... I am ready for a three-round grueling war every single time, and that's what's in my mindset when I go into a fight. And so that's the way I do see myself winning the fight. I mean, I, I don't really call it. I don't think it's like any Twitter beef, you know. I mean, uh, you know, he's, you know, he has some things to say. When you fight somebody, you know, you're, you're emotionally, you know, you're emotionally getting into this fight. So um, I think that, um, you know, 
there's been a little bit of John back and forth and everything. Um, you know, he's. I think he. You know, he doesn't know how to pack. All he needs to pack is a pillow and a sleeping bag, and and I think that'll be fine for him. You know, but um, the thing is, is um, you know, we're both emotional fighters, I believe, and I think that um, you're going to see that on January 28th, and I think it's going to make for an exciting fight. Oh man, that's a, that's exciting. Um, I'm very excited about that fight. Two big guys, two uh, great athletes. Um, Gosh, um, uh, who am I gonna pick? You know, I'm gonna I'm gonna go ahead and go with Overeem, and I'm going with Overeem because I believe he's more experienced, and that's why I'm gonna go with Overeem. Um, the fight could go either way, you know. Um, for heavyweights, it's either gonna be you know quick knockout or five rounds of hugging. So um, I mean, I'm gonna give the I'm gonna give the edge to Overeem um, definitely because of experience, and let's not you know forget about the um, co-main event too because I'm very excited to watch that one too. You got two you know very emotional guys going in there with Nick Diaz and Donald Cerrone, and I'm super excited for that fight. Um, and you know what, man, I'm gonna pick Donald Cerrone just because he's hot right now and everything. Um, I love Nate Diaz. I love uh, Nick Diaz as a fighter as well, but. Um, I just think Donald Cerrone is, um, you know, he's riding a real, you know, his confidence was real high, you know, and uh, I think, you know, he's kind of plateau. He, he he's like reached the, his next uh, plateau. He's kind of gotten over that plateau, as I should say, and um, that's going to be an exciting fight. Uh, I hope, I'm sure you guys are excited for it too.